You're falling over. You're drunk in an Irish pub. We've got the magpies. We've got it all. They're Scottish though. Yeah, we bring that in. <laughs> okay, okay. Again, we do not have old men sitting at the bar. We have quite young men sitting at the bar. All the beer and stuff is served by girls in bikinis. So today we are going to take a step into Irish pubs of Anaheim and we are going to see what the best one is with some precursors. I don't drive, I was relying on Ubers and Lyft so I was kind of trying to keep it within a radius. If I didn't get to your favourite pub, I'm really sorry but life is long, unbearably long. So maybe I'll get there in the future. We will be rating on the classic three things. Number one, crack. If you don't know what crack means in Ireland, Here's the definition. Number two, Guinness and how it is poured. Yes, there is a correct way to pour Guinness. You tilt it at a 45 degree angle, you pour up to the top of the harp, then you wait a full two minutes for it to settle, then you top it off. <laughs> That's what the Guinness people say and I'm gonna trust them, even though they stole my image for a commercial and never paid me. There's still time, Guinness. There's still time. And finally, Irishness. Ness. That's just how Irishy the whole thing feels. It's kind of one of those intangible things I'm scoring on. So it's very subjective. And yeah, you can totally say, oh, not accurate, Diane, and you'd be right. It's just a feeling. So this whole thing starts off bad, but it does get better. Stick with me. Today's video is brought to you by Patreon and channel membership. If you enjoy seeing me and Chewie doing things that we think are fun, go check us out there. And there's a really good community of people over there. So the Green Girl, which is where I am, is a place that has an Irish theme, but also all the beer and stuff is served by girls in bikinis. I'm not too sure how those correlate. I'm excited to check it out. I am seeing a sign that says cash only. I didn't bring any cash with me. You guys told me that nowhere takes cash anymore, that it's like a cashless society. Kind of hoping we can do a workaround. We'll see. I came all this way. I got an Uber. Unfortunately, we could not film totally in there because I really wanted to make sure I got like the girls permission whether to film them or not and they weren't super comfortable with it. No means no. Okay, so first off I have to say the girls working there were so lovely. However, they were being managed by a man sitting down at the end of the bar. He was pleasant but not overly friendly and he certainly wasn't going out of his way to try and help me with the ATM situation. For some reason my card would not work in their machine and he didn't direct me to go to any other ATMs nearby. He didn't offer a cashback solution or anything. I know I realize it was my problem I should have brought cash with me but you all lied to me about a beta cashless society though. Lesson learned. I can only go with the vibe and the vibe just wasn't super welcoming. I do realize I am not necessarily their target Target demographic. I appreciate that, but I was still like excited to check it out. The spirit of unhelpfulness did not lend itself to the Irishness ness, and the bikini thing is definitely not Irishness, but it is a good unique selling point. I did ask the girls how they pour their pint of Guinness, and they said that they pour it usually a little over halfway, wait, and then pour a bit more. In terms of Irishnessness, I gotta say, it was probably correct that they wouldn't allow us to film in there because Irish people don't like you filming stuff. Like, any, when you ask anybody if you can film something in Ireland, they're like, no. Whereas I do find in America, people are usually like, yeah, sure. In terms of the pint, I gotta say, they sounded like they did all right, but I didn't get to try it. I'm not gonna penalize them on that. And in terms of crack, well, I had no crack. I can imagine some other punters would have a lot of cracks, so here's our scores on this place without really getting to try it. I'm here at Dohany's Irish Pub and uh, we have a problem. Come, let me show you. It's not opening. Uh, supposed to be open, according to Google. I don't know whether I should just wait now or... We're not having much luck with Irish pubs in California, lads. We're not having a whole lot of luck. No luck of the Irish. 
guys, I waited outside for half an hour just in case it did eventually open. I looked around for all the entrances. I double checked the time on Google like 17 times because I easily gaslight myself. And at this time it was listed as open. It has however changed in the last couple of weeks. They updated their listing and now it isn't open the day and time that I went there. So I'm thinking maybe they were on the cusp of changing the times and days for the season and I just got there right before they updated it on their website. Sucks for me. Well, these are my scores. In terms of Irish nest nest, it's not very Irish. Usually the opening hours are correct. In terms, in terms of crack, zero crack. Sounds crack. And in terms of Guinness, I gotta give it a zero because they're not freaking open and I can't try it. Okay, so we are going to check out the Tilted Kilt. And this was probably the number one recommendation of locals to check out. And straight out the gate, we are going to forgive them for the Scottish thing. I'll explain more about kilt inside, but we just like the vibe. We like to embrace the entire Celtic thing. We just, we love the effort, okay guys? We love the effort. Whoa, this is what we would call a super pub. A little bit of Irish in me from my mom's side. You get a lot of Irish people in here. We get a good amount, uh, not a whole lot, but people that want their Guinness port right, they do come here for it. We wear the kilts here, so we, you know, we have some Irish meals and we serve Guinness and we got the Jameson. Oh, you have Irish meals? Most of the whiskeys, we got Irish meals. What are the meals? The meals, we've got um, shepherd's pie, Ooh. we've got um, our old Dublin stew. Nice. Is St. Patrick's Day wild in here? Yes. Yeah. We've got the bag signs, we've got it all. They're Scottish though. Yeah, we bring that in though. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Friends. Friends. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so obviously this place is called the Tilted Kilts. The way I'm going to explain kilts, let's say we said American people are identifiable with maple syrup. American people do eat maple syrup, but you know Canadians for maple syrup, right? Kilts are too Irish and Scottish as maple syrup is to Canadians and Americans, but it's okay. We like the theme. We're in for the theme. The ambiance is like a super pub in Ireland, not like a little old man pub. Ooh, we didn't check to see if there's an old man sitting at the bar. Okay, they're not old. They're like middle-aged. I don't I don't think they pass. I don't think they I don't think they qualify as the little old man sitting at the bar. I freaking love the outfits to be fair. Like I love a theme. A girl loves the theme, so I'm all for it. Autumn, a tilted kilt is freaking adorable. Promote her. She is just like the nicest girl ever. She was so sweet. She told me she learned how to pour a pint there and there is a little room for improvement, guys. So just check out the tips I gave at the beginning of this video if you want to upskill. We can always upskill, but the Guinness did taste good irrespective of how they poured it. Given that I feel like it was as much of a Scottish pub as it was an Irish pub, I sent over the images of the place to We Scottish Lass. And here's what she had to say. She said it's not classified as a kilt unless it's woven with a proper thread count. Well, she also said, and I apologize for the terrible Scottish accent, if it's just printed onto fucking polyester, it's just a plaid skirt. Skirt. So yep, you heard it here. Check out her channel, she has two now. I wouldn't call it a pub, I would call it a super pub, and we don't have the little old man sitting at the bar, but we do have a huge amount of Irish stuff going on. Irish nest nest, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Crack, I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. You could tell this place is lit at nighttime. I bet the girls have so much fun. And I feel like I could just go up and talk to anybody at the bar and they talk back. And 
Give this, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, but you did 90% of it perfectly. Tilted Kilt, so far my number one recommendation. Okay, we are here in O'Hara's pub. I feel like this definitely has the most Irish pubby vibe. There are really cute things on the wall. I'm looking forward to exploring those a little bit more. We got our pint of Guinness. They did the half four and the top up, so Brucey bonus for that. But the truth is in the tasting. Oh, the suspense is killing me. That's a good pint. That's a good pint. It's not in a Guinness glass, but I'll let it pass. Again, we do not have old men sitting at the bar. We have quite young men sitting at the bar. I am told the owners are Irish, but the bartenders are not. But they definitely fit the vibe. The hospitality here has been great. They gave me free Wi-Fi, which is always good. So in terms of crack, I'm thinking yes. Also, there's a really cool story about one of the ladies who owns this pub. I am 100% won over by hospitality and Russell was the kind of host that just makes you feel really welcome and he was just so kind and he couldn't say enough good things about the pub. You felt like he loves his job. He didn't want to be on camera, but he did send over this really good video of a guy doing a little shamrock in the pint. He even referred me to the place that's next on the list, which we're, we'll get to. What's cool about this pub is that it was established in 1972. It is a family owned pub. Gail, whose images adorn the wall, was known as the Irish Saint locally due to her generosity and contributions. The family maintain that ethos to this day. It's all quite low key as the folks there aren't braggish about it at all, which is how philanthropy should be really. My scores are tens all round and I will say it was the only pub on this trip that gave me a free pint and that did not bribe me. It actually genuinely held up. I can't be bribed. I probably can be bribed but I wasn't in this case. And finally, on to the last pub, which I really didn't understand what you guys were saying with the term hole in the wall until I went here. So we are in Harry's Irish pub, formerly known as Fathers. And interestingly, I was sent over here by O'Hara's. O'Hara's obviously have a lot of faith in themselves that they're the best Irish pub in the area. No, I'm just kidding. They were really nice about it. They were like, go oh, check it out, like the more the merrier. I've come in here and it definitely feels a little bit more like a club than a pub. Everybody seems to know each other. The walls are quite sparse. I don't know if I see old men at the bar so much as middle-aged men. We're missing our old men at the bar in a lot of these. We have our pints. It wasn't poured correctly. I don't know if my hands are giant suddenly or if this is a smaller pint. Well, it wouldn't be a smaller pint. It seems a bit like a three-quarter pint. Mm. Okay, so what I will say for this pub is it was local. I bet if you go there all the time and you know people, it's like a grand enough place to hang out. But the ambiance was zero. Nothing about it felt Irish apart from the merchandise. The staff were polite, not overly friendly, and the Guinness was poured the worst out of everyone. It was literally just plonked in a glass and it didn't taste good. So overall for me, there were two great places to go. Tilted Kilt, while not necessarily being the most authentically Irish, was a really fun place to go, really friendly. I could picture going there with my pals for pre-drinks or even at the end of a night drinks. Or you could go there the whole night. It was a really fun, woohoo place. Like you could party there. They are playing with the Scottish Irish hybrid thing. It would be cool if they like acknowledged the Scottishness a bit, or maybe according to Tammy got like woven kilts, but the staff are just so super duper nice. Go there. And my absolute win for authenticity has to be O'Hara's pub. 
It was really cozy, really great people. I don't think there was a person in the bar I didn't chat to. So welcoming, definitely a place you could go and sit by yourself and not feel weird about it, which for me is like a big thing. And it felt like the most actually Irish pub out of the lot. So is there an Irish pub in your vicinity you'd like me to check out listed below and where it is? That's it for today. See you guys in the next video.